A pregnant lady, someone who's been travelling to India, and a victim of man flu all walk into a doctor's office <laughs> complaining of stomach pains. Rather than the setup to a joke, I want to ask you a serious question. Would you expect them to be given the same treatment? Would you ever expect that the same treatment would work for all of them? Of course not. One is in labour, one has deli belly, and one needs to toughen up. <laughs> when it comes to physical health, we are pretty good at precision medicine, getting the right treatment to the right person at the right time. But the same cannot be said for mental health. If you go to your GP because you're depressed, anxious in social situations, or stressed at work, you'll probably leave with a script for an antidepressant and some Valium. In contrast to the advances made in modern medicine, psychological interventions have remained largely unchanged since the 1980s. Psychoactive drugs are non-specific in their mechanisms of action. SSRIs, which were originally developed as antidepressants, are now prescribed for just about everything. And we don't really know who will respond and who won't. Compare this to, say, cystic fibrosis, where researchers have found the specific gene mutation that identifies the 4% of patients that will respond to the drug Avocafta. This is a great example of precision medicine to which the treatment of all disorders, including mental health, should aspire. In Australia, mental health disorders will affect about half the population, are the third biggest contributor to the burden of disease, and cost over $20 billion per year in healthcare and lost productivity. We really need to improve our treatment of mental health. I think a big way of how to do this is to better understand what treatments will work for which individuals and why. And this is what my research is doing. Now, understanding the why involves poking around in the brain. And for some reason, the ethics committee didn't want me to do that to humans. So I do my research in animals. I've looked at a range of behavioral traits that are associated with increased susceptibility to anxiety and identified individuals that are vulnerable and resilient. I then looked at how they responded to drugs used in treating mental health and how their brains differed. I've found that I can identify groups for whom these drugs are more or less effective. Hopefully my research will mean that when it comes to mental health, people will be treated like the individuals they are. Thank you.